Hello, it's a great pleasure to be joining in the celebrations for Grown in Britain Week 2021. Uh, we need to celebrate our woods and forests in this country. Uh, they provide a range of ecosystem services alongside a superb array of materials that enhance our lives, uh, from furniture and fuel to timber and construction. And I applaud the work of all who grow in Britain. The National Forestry Conference is taking place on Wednesday this week, organised by Grown in Britain. A partnership with the Forestry Commission and the CLA, and it's rightfully the highlight of the week. Key speakers, including the great Lord Deben, uh, will cover highly relevant topics under the headline, An Era of Opportunity. My policy colleagues will be there uh, from DEFRA uh, and will provide important updates and insights on the government's work to support the sector. Over the last few years, the importance of, of people's access to woodland and forests has grown significantly. They are wonderful places to visit and explore. Uh, they're life enhancing, they're healing. Uh, and during the pandemic, there was never a more important moment uh, than th that for understanding the open spaces and particularly those uh, that are wooded. If you uh, add this contribution to improving health and well-being to all the other benefits they provide in terms of carbon, timber, wildlife, flood protection and clean air, you really do see how thriving woodlands are vital to us all. So I encourage you to attend the National Forestry Conference, either in person at Newbury Racecourse, the centre of the known world. I say that because I used to represent that area for 15 years or online. Uh, it will be a great forum for learning, debating and showcasing the challenges and opportunities ahead. The England Trees Action Plan, supported by an intended £500 million from the Nature for Climate Fund, is a once in a generation plan to help achieve our tree planting vision. We will see an unprecedented number of trees planted, protected and managed to deliver more for society, more for nature, the climate and the economy. The role that many of you will play in helping us to deliver the ambitions set out in the plan is absolutely vital. For example, uh, during September, we launched the Woodlands for Water project with the aim of creating more riparian woodland corridors on the National Trust estate and in six river catchments across the country. This will deliver over 3000 hectares of riparian woodlands by 2025 with a target of a thousand kilometers of river improved by supporting suitable uh, land managers to apply for funding through the England Woodland Creation Offer. The multitude of partners working closely together on this project has been the key to its successful launch. The plan also sets out how we're supporting seed suppliers and nurseries to ensure that the quantity, quality and diversity of tree planting stock uh, is there and awarding 1.5 million of support for capital equipment and innovation this year. Given my uh, ministerial responsibilities, as part of Grown in Britain Week, I will be visiting a plant healthy certified nursery for which Grown in Britain is a certified body. We would urge all nurseries and traders uh, in plants, including trees, all NGOs, and anybody who can possibly be part of this great project to sign up to this vital scheme and all buyers and tree planters to insist on sourcing stock from plant healthy certified businesses. If we all commit to this one action, then we will make our country more biosecure. The government will be doing our bit by looking to procure from plant healthy certified suppliers for our own projects and planting grant schemes. We intend to pilot this requirement for a few Forestry Commission grant schemes from early next year before rolling it out more widely. The need for good biosecurity is ever more vital as we enact, uh, enact a step change in creation of new woodlands in this country. I remain so grateful to Grown in Britain for their superb work 
And thanks also to the CLA and the Forestry Commission for the hard work in organising this year's National Forestry Conference. I hope you enjoy the rest of Grown in Britain week.